G'day and welcome to another episode of 3 Minute Histology with Jamie Chapman. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be looking at something called a decision tree. Now, a decision tree is something which you're probably already doing mentally anyway. But what we're going to just be formalizing it um, specifically here, just in relation to uh, distinguishing um, the histological identification of the major salivary glands and the pancreas. So here we've got all of these glands. Um, which we've just looked at in the last recent videos, how the heck do we tell them apart? So we're going to use our decision tree to work out exactly how we're going to do it. So I'm going to give you a very short PowerPoint presentation and then we're going to show an example. So I hope you find it useful. Let's start our three minutes. So this is, as I said, a decision tree for the histological identification of the major salivary glands and the pancreas. What are the, the, the questions you should be asking yourself when you're looking at a slide and you've uh, identified that it's either one of the major salivary glands or it's the pancreas, but you can't tell which? Um, some authors have re referred to a decision tree as a kind of a hitchhiker's guide to mystery meat, if you like. So you're given a, a slide of mystery meat and then you need to make a series of decisions to work out exactly what it is that you're looking at. So let's say we're looking at a solid organ. It's got a connective tissue capsule, or if you can't see the connective tissue capsule, you can see some septa, which is helping to divide that solid organ into lobules. And within those lobules, you can actually see some nice clear ducts. So what's the sort of first question that you're going to be asking yourself? Well, hopefully you're going to be asking yourself, is this gland made up entirely of serous acini, or is it a mix of serous and mucous acini? So then you have to determine whether you can see some mucus acini amongst the serous or if there's lots of um, mucus acini, are there serous components and so on. Well, let's say we're looking at our gland and it's made up entirely of serous acini. What's the next question we're going to ask ourselves? Well, the next question is going to be, are there islets of Langerhans present? And of course, if there are islets of Langerhans present, then we're looking at a section of the pancreas. But if we're considering the salivary glands, the major salivary glands, if there aren't any islets of Langerhans present, then the only other gland that was a possibility is the parotid salivary gland, an entirely serous um, major salivary gland. So there's our decision made relatively easily. Just a series of small, simple questions that breaks it down into simple decisions. There's our decision. Let's say we're looking at a section which is both a mix of both serous and mucus acini. Our next question then is, is it a mostly serous gland with a little bit of mucus, or is it mostly a mucus gland with a little bit of serous? Well, based on our understanding of the normal histology of the major salivary glands, um, the submandibular is a mostly mucus, a mostly serous gland, I beg your pardon, that also has some mucus components, and the sublingual salivary gland is a mostly mucus gland with a little bit of serous. And those serous components exist as these little serous demilunes on the surface of those uh, mucus acini. So let's put it into practice really quickly. Here we've got a micrograph. We can see we've quite magnified, so we can't see the connective tissue capsule, but we can see some a duct present. So our first question is, is this entirely serous or is it a mix of mucus and serous? Well, based upon our appearance here, we can see that it's an entirely serous gland. There's no mucus acini present here. Our next question, are there islets of Langerhans present? And yes, this big round structure here is in an islet of Langerhans, and therefore we're looking at a section of the pancreas. Well, there's our buzzer. We've reached our three minutes. I hope you found this decision tree a little bit helpful in your identification.